Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing what I believe is called the Alphabet Soup Tag. A is for author. There are lots of A-themed questions. This was created by Sean the Book Maniac, who I'll link to below. His channel's fantastic. I was tagged by the equally fantastic Charlie Heathcote. There are, I think, 12 questions, 13 questions, and without further ado, I'm going to get started. So, question one. A is for author. A good book by an author whose first name or last name starts with a letter A. First names are too easy, so bonus points for a surname. Double bonus points for first and last name. So this was kind of easy because I alphabetized my books by author surname. So I'm just going for I, Robot by Isaac Asimov, which is probably the, my favorite of all the Asimov books I've read so far. Question number two, A is for, well, A. The last book you read with the article slash one letter word A in the title. So I had to actually look at my old wrap ups to figure this out. And for me, it is apparently a Charles, a Charles Dickens anthology um, compiled by Kathleen Wood. So there we go. Question number three, A is for Angry, a book that pissed you off. This would be uh, Stephen Fry's The Ode Less Travelled. I actually jokingly set fire to the corner of it in, when I was talking about it in one of my videos. Uh, basically, it was just very pretentious and like exclusivist almost. So he was very like uh, dismissive of free verse poetry, for example. And, uh, and then the poetry that he did write and suggest in all these forms and stuff, I just, the way he explained it all made me not want to do it. So yeah. Question number four, A is for awesome, a top read of recent years. So for me, I'm just gonna go for The Long Earth by Terry Pratchett and Stephen Baxter, which is potentially my top book of the last quarter. Although it's hard to say. I mean, I read the whole five book series now, so I don't know. We will see. I don't want to. Don't want to give away spoilers. Question number six: A is for annoying, a character that drove you up the wall. So for me, that is the kid uh, Connor from A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. I just thought it was kind of awful how he was using like his mother's illness. Was it his mother? Yeah, he was using her illness as a reason to behave like a little dick. I mean, I know he was a kid, but still, it just made it very painful to read about. I didn't enjoy that book, unfortunately. Question number seven, A is for ambivalent, a book you're still not sure how you feel about. That's got to be Virginia Woolf, Mrs. Dalloway. And the reason I'm ambivalent about it is it used to be my most hated book. I had to study it at university and really didn't enjoy it. And then I reread it, I think last year, via audiobook for one of the re read prompts. And I did enjoy it. Not like five stars, but it was better than I thought. And uh, yeah, I I'm still not totally sure how I feel. Question number eight, A is for anticipation, a book, new release or not, that you're very much looking forward to reading. Uh, I, I guess Stephen King's latest one. I don't, I don't know, I'm kind of a mood reader a lot, so I don't really have anything in particular right now that I'm super looking forward to reading. Oh, I missed question number five, a book whose title includes at least three A's, bonus for more than three. So I've got Americana. And then if you include the author name, it's definitely got more than one three A's. Uh, this was actually sent to me by Charlie, who tagged me in this video, and I still haven't read it. Oops. Okay, A is for actually, a book you didn't expect to like but did. For me, it's pretty easy. It's The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. I think it's just because when it came out, it was super hyped. And I was like, I felt as I was a little bit old for it. And then I watched the movies recently and thought they were pretty good. Read the book, enjoyed it, and looking forward to reading the rest of the trilogy. Question 10, A is for Affected, a character, book or writer you feel is pretentious. I guess Sally Rooney, I don't know if I necessarily think... See, when I read her writing, I don't think it is pretentious, I just don't think it's very good. But then, like, it's marketed as, like, literary fiction and stuff, and to me it's just, like, it's very bog-standard commercial fiction, and, like, she's published by Faber and Faber and stuff, and it's like, I don't, I don't know, I don't get it. Question number 11, A is for how is it going, A? A book you liked by a Canadian writer, or one you want to read. So I've got here Duncan Ralston's Gristle and Bones, Seven Delectable Tales of Terror. These are horror short stories by Ralston, who is an indie author. We used to be published by the same publisher, Book Trope. And they're great. Like, I think I even said in my review when I read it, it was like, he's actually the only writer I've ever met who could potentially one day rival Stephen King. I don't know. He's a long way off at the moment, but he's, he's doing good. Like, he's got a shot, you know what I mean? Most people don't have shots. Question number 12, A is for anticlimactic, a book you thought fizzled out at the end. Maybe The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware. I just, the end was just weird. It just went off on a tangent from what like the rest of the book was. And I just didn't feel it really worked. Although I think with Ruth Ware, she has been getting better with each of her books. 
and I haven't read like her newest one that just came out or the one before that. So maybe maybe she got better since this. And question number 13, A is for all the booktubers. Tag a swack of people. A swack, a swack, I don't know. So I'm gonna do this in the same way that I usually do, which is by going into my comments, and I'm just gonna read off some of the people who've recently commented. Okay, so I'm gonna tag Tia and all the books, The Reading Werewolf, Jason's Weird Reads, Cats and Camera, I Read Past My Bedtime, Paul Reads Books, Mark Nash, Stacy's Stories, MH Books, Tilly Shelf, Bookish Islander, Wolfshot Publishing, Megan Hannett, Sarah Hannett as well, Todd the Librarian, and you, if you want to. And if you haven't already done it, if you've already done it, don't worry about it. So there we have it, that's what I made of the, oh my god, what was it called? The Alphabet Soup tag A is for author. As always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you think of my answers. And if you've read any of these books, hit that subscribe button for more. And I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.